Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Wednesday, July 20th, 2016. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, where we bring you today's top stories translated into English every weeknight. After 18 months of negotiations, it seems as if the parties have reached consensus for the judicial reform. Only a day before the MPs are to vote on the judicial reform in Parliament, the Democratic Party chairman declared that the opposition will cast its vote in favor of the reform tomorrow. EU Commissioner Johannes Hahn's proposal seems to have solved the issues of disagreement between the two parties. The EU Commissioner sent letters to the Prime Minister, Assembly Speaker and the Democratic Party chairman reiterating the International Monitoring's Operation Observing role. The DP chairman gave assurance that the opposition will vote in favor of the reform after a long process of drafting and discussions and added that despite political divisions, now it is the time to be united. I am here to say to all Albanian people that the Democratic Party is ready to join its votes tomorrow in Parliament for the constitutional draft according to the hybrid proposal. There are and there will be political divisions, but now it's time to be united, said the DP chairman, adding that reaching an agreement for the international's role is a battle won for the Albanian people and that the international's role will be added as a transitory provision in the constitution. According to the DP chairman, the judicial reform will open a new path for Albania and Albanians so that they do not have less than European standards. Only a few minutes after the DP chairman's statement, the Prime Minister confirmed that consensus has been reached for the judicial reform. The Prime Minister appeared enthusiastic about this achievement of Albanian politicians and declared that the red lines turned out, in fact, to have been protective lines for the reform. After an agreement offered by the EU Commissioner, Johannes Hahn, which was accepted by Albania's politicians for reaching a consensual reform, Prime Minister Eddie Rama welcomed the decision and considered it good news. Prime Minister Rama read the letter the EU Commissioner sent to the political leaders to clarify that the red line which defends judicial reform from failing is not crossed. Further, to my respective telephone conversation with all three of you yesterday and today, I would like to reiterate the following points on the so-called hybrid proposal, which is the one on the table. These points are red lines for the international community, as we have consistently stressed throughout the process. First, the role of the International Monitoring Operation, or IMO, must have a solid legal basis in the Constitution itself. Second, I reconfirm, as we have stated throughout the discussions, that the IMO will only provide recommendations which are not legally binding. However, these recommendations will include a reasoning in which the position taken will be explained according to the criteria established by the legislation. I trust that we can proceed on this basis, reads the EU Commissioner's letter. The Prime Minister appeared before the media with the Albanian new draft constitution in his hands, prepared by the U.S. Embassy and read a few lines which demonstrate that the international's role has been determined as a recommending role and not as a decision-making role. According to the Prime Minister, a new era has just begun for Albania and Albanians who will soon have the justice system they want. Assembly Speaker Ilir Meta praised the Democratic Party's decision and considered consensus a historic achievement. Mr. Meta expressed gratitude to the EU Commissioner Johannes Hahn for his politics of good neighboring and enlargement. I welcome the decision of the Democratic Party. Consensus is a historic achievement. On this occasion, I wish to express gratitude to the EU Commissioner for European Neighborhood Policy and Enlargement Negotiations, Mr. Johannes Hahn. Adoption of the judicial reform is a success and an achievement for all Albanians, Assembly Speaker Ilir Meta declared. Also, President Nishana congratulated Albania's political leaders for reaching consensus on the judicial reform. The President urges that the reform is important for the present and the future of Albania. The President also said that reaching consensus guarantees that the constitutional amendments to achieve the proper goal is welcomed by the citizens adding that it is essential that this reform be finalized successfully while maintaining the highest professional standards, guaranteeing all fundamental freedoms and human rights. In order to better serve the Albanian citizens' interests, it is fundamental that this reform be finalized with success, 
maintaining the highest professional principles and democratic principles, guaranteeing people's freedom and human rights, reads the statement. Business reps urge political parties to adopt the judicial reform. A day before the draft passes to Parliament for approval, business reps argue that the reform is a condition that will stabilize business. The judicial reform is essential and without it, no other economic reform that has been undertaken or will be undertaken in the future can bring economic stability to the enterprise needs. The failure of the judicial reform would be a major failure for entrepreneurship and the economy of our country. Today we appeal to the Albanian political class to approve the constitutional draft tomorrow in Parliament, said the chairwoman of the Union of Chambers of Commerce. To business reps, the judicial reform data is a guarantee for equal and fair competition in the market. There are ways of working to bring development and progress when all move forward together, supporting according to abilities and the work they do. We want this reform to establish a very strong foundation in order to continue with economic reforms or any other reforms to develop business, said the executive director of the American Chamber of Commerce. An environment of fair competition away from corruption, away from manipulations of the courts and justice system will be created, said the president of the Association of Exporters. In the latest survey of the Association of Foreign Investors, justice issues were listed as the main business concern in Albania and the number one factor that exacerbates poor business climate in the country. The LGBTI community reacted strongly to the Ad Hoc Commission's decision for the judicial reform to exclude the amendments in the constitutional package, which would have paved the way for cohabitation between people of the same gender. The proposed amendments to Article 18 of the Constitution that legitimates, legitimizes gay cohabitation are strongly opposed by religious leaders and the Party for Justice, Integrity and Unity considers this to be in violation of families' principles. The LGBTI community and organizations that defend their rights publicly expressed their indignation for the stance the majority has held and considers the decision a departure of religious, with religious intolerance. Withdrawing from these changes shows that the influence of extremism and religious intolerance in Albania have gone beyond any prediction. It shows once again that Albania is seriously threatened by religious intolerance and extreme impact that traditional religions exert on secular public life in Albania. Given this situation, the Pink Embassy urges every member who has been and is in support of human rights in Albania not to vote for constitutional changes that do not include protection from discrimination of LGBT persons, reads the reaction of the Pink Embassy. Meanwhile, Tarana Mufti was invited to the Aura News studio, where he reiterated his stance against any legal form that gives way to marriage between persons of the LGBT community. The first to welcome the decision of the Ad Hoc Commission for Justice Reform was the Party for Justice, Integrity and Unity, which strongly demanded the removal of the article allowing cohabitation between people of the same sexual orientation. Marriage is the union between a man and a woman, and it has nothing to do with discrimination, but with the natural order. The family, as the nucleus of society, is sacred and must be protected. Therefore, we stayed until the end of our opposition to this amendment to the Constitution. PJIU calls 140 deputies to vote in favor of judicial reform as a historic moment for our country and nation, reads the PJIU's reaction. Chairman of the Ad Hoc Committee and Socialist Movement for Integration MP, Petra Vasili, declared after the meeting of the Ad Hoc Committee that the article was considered beyond the issues, was not included in the package of constitutional changes. The project of selecting 5,000 administrators of apartment buildings in the capital will begin in early fall and will last a year. Tirana's mayor, Ariane Villiers, explained the selection procedure today and said that having administrators will bring solutions to the residents' problems. Mayor Villiers also announced the launch of another project which will start next year and be realized with the help of the administrators. The municipality intends to give priority to reconstructing buildings or constructing parks together with the residents' contribution. If the administrator says we are ready to pay one-third or one-quarter 
then the municipal municipality will pay three quarters of the amount of money needed. If residents want a playground and are ready to contribute one third, the municipality will do the rest. Why? It's not about money, but when a community modestly invests for a project, it feels ownership in the project, said the mayor. Thanks to this project, the municipality of Tirana promised that, as people provide even a modest contribution, the city hall will give a rapid answer to any urgent needs of the community. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.